welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. And it is wonderful to return to the incredible Arcturian Council channelings. We've now gotten a chance to cover these over 10 episodes, and we have explored the many different facets of the Arcturian Council's teachings. This has a very unique message, and it comes with an energetic transmission. Each time I read these words, I'm uplifted. It comes from a higher vibration, and there's these little packets of information that sort of flood in with each of these channelings. We've covered so many different things, our galactic connections, our ways of understanding our energy and tapping into our fifth dimensional power. Today, we're reading a group of channelings from The Ascension, The Shift to the Fifth Dimension, Volume 1, from the Arcturian Council. These are channeled by Daniel Scranton, an amazing channeler who has a very unique style of channeling. Please be sure to check out our interview and the links to purchase these books and check out his website. The Arcturian Council, Energetic Bursts from Arcturus. You are bringing forth more energy. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have observed the bringing forth of more energy from your heart centers in a substantial number of humans in recent weeks. As you know, you are receiving energy from various sources, and that energy is pushing out that which is of a lower frequency, giving it the opportunity to either raise its frequency or move along. However, the energy that you bring forth to match that energy that's coming from outside of you is what you ultimately have control over and an infinite supply of. So you are getting triggered in many ways, and some of the ways in which you are getting triggered feel very nice. As you keep up with the energies that are around you, you have a new, more divine experience of self. And that energy activates within you abilities, knowledge, and the capacity for even more love and connection. So what we are observing in humanity is very good news. We ask you all to acknowledge what you are accessing, and we invite you to feel it. Feel the flow of energy from the infinite source as it activates you and as it gives you the upgrades that you desire that you are ready for. Feel this energy as a creative force and a force to be reckoned with. Let yourselves bask in it and most of all enjoy what you're bringing forth. Enjoy what you have accomplished and what you're still moving towards. You can all feel into the excitement that is creating within the collective as you notice that a tipping point is accomplished. You are your own saviors. You are doing it all from within and you are readying yourselves for so much more. As the energies outside of you continue to bombard planet Earth and open new gateways and possibilities, all of you come together to become the human collective that ascends to the fifth dimension. You will continue to feel the energy that you bring forth from your heart centers guiding the way. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Reaching out and receiving. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are here now because of your readiness for our transmissions. It is a testament to how far you have come, that you can even understand what we transmit. Your willingness to receive our transmission shows us that you are ready to bring yourselves to an even deeper understanding of who you are and what your place is in this universe. We have no idea what any of you are going to do before you do it. We simply enjoy watching you from that place of no expectation and no anticipation, and we marvel at your journey as a collective. Now there is something occurring on planet Earth at this time that is pushing you even further And again, you are ready for this, or else it would not be happening. You are sending out telepathic communications to beings who are physical and non-physical, and they are being received, heard, and responded to. Whether you can receive the transmissions back from all of the beings that you're reaching out to depends on your willingness to sit and open yourselves up 
to receiving those responses. We see so many of you reaching out and wanting something tangible in return that you can trust. But it is far more important for you to receive the energetic transmissions from your physical and non-physical friends and to feel the connection that you have to them than it is to receive a specific message about your life or about something you should be doing in your life. It's time for all of you to realize that you are co-creators with all of us who are watching you. We have not agreed with you at any point to tell you what to do, nor would it serve you if we did. What is of the utmost importance is that you can seek the energetic connection so that you feel our presence, know we are with you, and actualize our support in a tangible way. What we mean by that is that when you accept and receive the energy transmissions and you feel within yourselves the connection, you will become more of who you are and from that place you will take actions that you know will serve you. And that is quite different from having a little voice in your head that tells you what to do at every step on your journey. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you offering our help. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have ascertained that the human condition is far more challenging than it appears from our perspective. We cannot put ourselves in your shoes, but we can observe how much you feel and how hard your lives can be. We do have enormous compassion for what you go through in your lives. In our attempts to assist you, we can run into some roadblocks and pitfalls because we are not experiencing what you are experiencing. Now, as you continue on in your journeys, you are going to find that you struggle less, things become easier, and you have less to push against and resist. As you come into this place, you will also notice that you have more time on your hands to be creative. The creativity we are talking about has to do with creating realities, creating circumstances, creating experiences for yourselves that will be quite satisfying when they come your way. As you open yourselves up to receive the help that we are offering and the help that others are offering as well, you move closer and closer to this time of rapid awakening, ascension, and then creation. So as hard as it is for us to give you exactly what you need, we ask that you be open to putting yourselves in a receptive state at least once a day so that you may benefit from the help that you are getting. The egoic way is to do everything yourselves so that you can take all the credit. But this is not a competition, and it is not a race. And as soon as you find yourselves reaching that tipping point where you only can hold a fifth dimensional frequency, you will not care at all about who gets the credit. You will see the intricate bigger picture that is in effect, and your place in it, and how your ascension was and is inevitable. And again, you will look then at what it is you wish to create and experience. The struggle to get by will be gone, and with it, all of the trauma that you've experienced in all of your lifetimes. We will continue to assist you as much as we can, and we will continue to marvel at your strengths as you maneuver through all of these energies that you've been carrying with you and allow yourselves to ascend into the fifth dimensional frequency state. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. The Transmissions Within the Transmissions Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have begun transmitting messages within the messages that we transmit through this particular channel. You are far more receptive than you might think to that which you do not pick up on with your minds. So when you receive a transmission, you are receiving it on many different layers of your beingness and we are happy to report that you pick up on quite a bit on the subconscious level. And later, what we have transmitted will become conscious to you as a thought, an idea, or as an impulse. Therefore, we suggest that you begin to look at, examine your thoughts and your impulses. In other words, witness what you are experiencing and then see if you can trace back the origins of the thoughts or the impulse to act that you are having. This will be a fun game for you. Is this a thought that I am picking up from the collective? Is this a belief that my parents held and passed down to me? 
Is this impulse coming from a place of fear, or is it coming from a more genuine place of wanting to take that particular action? Asking yourselves these questions is going to help you recognize the transmissions that you are receiving from us and from other beings. And when you trust that the beings you are receiving from have your best interests at heart, you can give those thoughts, ideas, and impulses a bit more of your attention. You also must recognize that there are transmissions within other aspects of your lives. You can, and some of you do, pick up on the subtle ways in which attempts are being made to keep you afraid, or to keep you from knowing your own power. Certainly, these subliminal messages are meant to get you to buy certain things. Now, once you become aware of any manipulation that you can perceive in and on your world, you can choose to ignore it, you can choose to laugh at it, and you can make a conscious decision to only listen to the suggestions that you are getting from a higher source, from a source that you trust, from a source that you can see as a future version of yourself reaching back to assist and to serve. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Your Light and Sunlight Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. There's been a shift in the energy that you experience coming from your sun. You have made it to this point because of your willingness to go within yourselves and experience the light that is within you. As the light that is within you increases in intensity and magnitude, the light from the sun matches it. As you bring yourselves to a higher frequency state by focusing on the love that is within you, your sun is able to show you more of its love. And your sun is also one of many beings that is helping you to reach higher frequency states through the energy that the sun sends. Now how you experience this is going to be up to you. It can be very challenging for you to absorb all of the light, the love, and the energy that is coming down from the sun. You can see it as a call to match that light and love by continuing to increase your own vibration, by continuing to come from your hearts and offering love and service to the collective. Now you also want to be very gentle with yourselves on the physical level during the time in which you feel this absorption is taking place. You certainly want to be as hydrated as you can possibly be, and that means drinking plenty of water and eating lots of fruit and vegetables. It also means allowing yourselves to take a nap, to rest, to do nothing, and certainly making time in your lives for meditation. When you meditate, you naturally calibrate yourselves to the energies around you. It is effortless. It is something that you do without knowing that you're doing it or how you're doing it. The increased love and light coming down from the sun is ultimately going to result in creating a less dense physical experience for you. Your light bodies are getting activated and so is the environment around you. The trees, the plants, the grass, the flowers and even the rocks and dirt are getting their upgrades as well. They are becoming less dense, and they are helping you by helping to form a grid of energy around the earth that is supportive of your journey. And of course, the animals are also helping in every possible way. All of this is a very good sign for humanity, as your collective evolution takes yet another step forward. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you energetic boosts from Arcturus. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have decided to take on a bigger role in helping you with your ascension journeys. We are preparing to exercise our free will to offer our assistance in giving you the energetic boosts that will help you to understand more clearly who you really are. Your willingness to receive our help and to let that energy in is very encouraging to us. We see you all reaching out and reaching up and receiving that which we are transmitting, and it gives us more than just a little bit of hope. We enjoy helping just as much as you enjoy being helped. Our energy matches the crown chakra quite nicely in all of you, so as you receive these energetic transmissions, you may wish to focus there. Focus on that seventh chakra, Feel the harmonizing of the energies and the openness that you have to us within that particular chakra. And then, of course, your seven main chakras work together. They harmonize. 
They share energy and information, and so the transmissions can be disseminated from the crown chakra down into all of the six lower chakras. Your ascension journeys are very much dictated by your inner realm. But those like us who exist in other dimensions and who seem to exist outside of you are certainly a part of that journey, as this ascension is not just about all of us moving up into higher dimensional states, it is also about all of us coming together, unifying as a universal collective so that this new universe that we all get to occupy feels more like home to every single being in it. We want you to feel connected to us, to each other, and to all aspects of yourselves in all lifetimes, in all dimensions, and we will do everything in our power to assist you, to offer just the right frequency of energy, to stimulate within you that knowing that we are all one, that this is all just a game we are playing, and that we are all going home together to discover more of ourselves within the realm of source energy. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Receiving specifically calibrated energy. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are the perfect resource for you as you move ahead. And we are not bragging as we say this. We are beyond having an ego of any kind. We simply want all of you to tune in to the help that is being offered through us because it is assisting you in more ways than you know. We are calibrating the energy that comes through in these transmissions for very specific purposes. You are beautiful beings to behold in your process of ascension, and nothing brings us more joy than to see you lighting up because of what we have activated within you. For example, in this transmission, you are receiving the energy that is going to activate within you receptors that will then allow you to receive more of the energy, information, and vibration being offered by your son. It delights us to see how all of that comes together and results in a moment where you feel something you've never felt before. We are overjoyed to see you receive and be able to acclimate to all that you are being offered in the transmissions from us and subsequently from your son. We love to behold you making progress and we also want to give you the credit that you deserve. You must be willing to receive that which we are offering in order for it to take effect. The more time that you spend relaxing and absorbing the energy that we transmit and the energy that your son transmits, the better you feel and the higher the frequency at which you vibrate. We can offer you words of encouragement. We can offer you tr energy transmissions. We can offer you codes and downloads and even upgrades. But until you put yourselves in a position where you are open enough to receive all that we offer, it just sits in your energy fields waiting for the opportune moment. Let now be one of those moments and let yourselves receive what we are offering. Know that you are orchestrating the entire thing and we are just playing our role for all of you. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Receive from your galactic family. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. You all receive so much from the other beings in this galaxy and we ask you to acknowledge that you are in fact receiving energy, transmissions, downloads, codes, information, and activations from beings who are far, far away. The reason that we suggest that you acknowledge this is happening is because in your acknowledgement of it, you're able then to integrate and assimilate the myriad of energies that are coming to you from the heavens. Your place in this galaxy is to anchor in these energies so that all may benefit from your ascension process. You do not need to understand how it occurs. You do not need to know anything about DNA in order for your DNA to receive an upgrade or to get activated, but it will serve you very well to consciously receive that which is being given to you. And by consciously receive, we mean to take a few moments to open yourselves up energetically, physically, and within each of your chakras. Open yourselves up to consciously receive and you will benefit more from what is being sent to you. Ask before you fall asleep to be shown in your dreams what is happening while you are sleeping. Ask to see the full story behind what is occurring on an energetic level. The more you expect to receive something valuable, the easier it is for you to then demonstrate to yourself 
that you have in fact received it. When you have experienced now that you cannot explain or that seem like anomalies, do chalk them up to having received something from one of your benefactors and then luxuriate in the feeling of being surrounded by and bombarded by these high frequency energy transmissions. Bathe yourselves in the love and light that is being poured down upon you at all times. Do less and receive more and benefit you shall from being a part of this galactic family. Accessing more downloads, upgrades, and activations. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are so very excited about your progress at this time. And we can see how you've made the progress and how you will continue to make the progress as you move forward. You've been sitting quietly more often as a collective. You've been more creative as a collective. You've been accessing more of the downloads, upgrades, and activations as a collective. And this is how you are progressing so beautifully. All that you are doing now for yourselves as individuals, you are also doing for the collective. Your progress makes an impact on the human collective consciousness. The choices that you make inform others that this choice is possible and you are receiving so much energy that it is impossible for you to not spread it around. Most of the reason why the progress is being made is because you do not feel inspired to take action. When nothing out there appeals to you, that's when you tend to slow down to a virtual stop. That's when you tend to go within. That's when you get quiet, open up, and receive. It's either when you are doing something you love to do or doing nothing. And so the limitations of your world, the things that prevent you from going all the time, are helping you to find that balance between doing and non-doing. You are ascending. That is happening. That's not something you make happen through your actions. As you ascend, as you become more of who you are, your actions become more effective because you are inspired. When you are uninspired, not taking action is precisely the thing to do. It is precisely the thing to not do essentially because you're not doing something just to feel productive. The whole idea of being productive was created in the third dimension. It was created during a time when you had to do so much more just to survive and it has been embedded in the consciousness of so many. But now is the time of doing nothing and achieving more. So when you lack inspiration and when you don't know what to do, take that as a sign. Your higher self wants you to stop with all the doing, all the goal setting, and all the accomplishing. It serves you to do nothing most of the time. Think about how much of your time is spent sleeping and how much you accomplish while your body is lying there in bed. You're receiving downloads. You're traveling the astral plane with your consciousness. Your body is repairing itself. Now, some of you have a hard time forcing yourself to sit still, and that just means you need to do it more than the next person. So listen to the lack of inspiration as much as you listen to those inspired thoughts to move towards something. Those impulses to actually do something, and you will continue to make that progress that we are so excited about. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. A Process for Receiving Higher Dimensional Energies Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been exploring different ways to grant humanity access to higher dimensional energies. And we have noticed that through meditation, relaxation, and following your bliss, you can tap into these energies quite easily. We also noticed that drinking lots of water, resting, and grounding yourself are also very effective techniques. What we want to share with you now is another method, another tactic to employ so that you can receive all that is being given from ourselves and many other higher dimensional beings. We are talking about putting yourselves in a state where you are completely present and yet at the same time acknowledging how much you have already been and how much you will be in the future. It is seemingly a paradox to do this. And it's confusing enough to your mind to open yourself up even more to the truth of who you are. You've been a higher dimensional being many times. You will be a higher dimensional being once again. You are in the process of becoming the higher dimensional being known as your higher self. And yet if you focus too much on where you have been 
or where you're going without including the act of being completely present, you miss out on that opening that is being created as you acknowledge who you really are. Where you are now is significant because you have already become fourth dimensional beings in this lifetime and because you are awake. Now, you still have that final hump to get over, and you will, but here is where you are now. And being very present in the moment while holding that acknowledgement of who you've been and who you are becoming will open you up entirely to the truth of who you really are. As source, you don't think of yourself as separate or even individuated. You are all that is. And as all that is, of course, you have access to all the higher frequency energies. They aren't even considered higher frequency energies as your source self. This exercise will help you to attain new levels of consciousness. You can feel those higher frequency energies ripping through your physical bodies and that joyous feeling will be its own reward and there will be more to come. As you embrace inclusiveness and you activate unity consciousness in yourselves, the world is not just your oyster. You become one with the world, everyone and everything. Every vibration becomes a part of you and you can access whatever you want, whenever you want. Practice this little meditation for a few minutes every day. See how long you can hold that knowing and that presence simultaneously, and we promise you, life will start to get a lot easier. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. The energy is coming from Mother Earth. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been focusing our attention and energy on the ways in which all of you have been responding to the waves of energy that have been coming up from the Earth's surface recently. We always want to know what is working on you and how you're affected by the various energies that come from physical and non-physical sources. Now, we have just recently discussed the crystalline energy grid and how you can tap into that. Now we want to talk to you about the earth herself and what she is doing as being right now to support you. This beautiful planet that more and more of you are reaching out to with heartfelt compassion is the co-creator of this experience with you. She is what makes all of this possible for you along with others, of course. But on the physical level, you could not be having this earth experience without your mother earth right there beneath you. And she is as interested as we are in your evolution of consciousness. And she is not interested from a selfish perspective. She is not worried about herself at all. She wants to be of service always to the evolution of your consciousness. And so the energies that she gives off at this time are about getting you to pay more attention to your physicality. While at the same time getting you to expand your consciousness to get you to feel like you are a part of a global community. It is not just your televisions, phones, and internet that are informing you of what's going on all around your planet. Mother Earth herself is sending you those messages to let you know where help is needed and also to lure you to her spiritual hotspots. She wants you to benefit from the places where the energies feel particularly good, and at the same time she wants you to know where things are not going so well for humanity. Those are the agendas of the planet that you live on because she knows that it will be through sharing in the experience of the good and the not so good that you will become the collective that she knows you will become. And as you may know by now, you're not going to ascend without the rest of the collective. We want that to be very clear. There is not going to be a separation of the good from the bad. That is such a slim possibility in terms of timelines that do exist that we can confidently say that it will not happen. So your planet, your mother, your co-creator wants you to see the person living in Nigeria as your brother or sister and to see the person living in Brazil as your co-creator and to see the person living in Ireland as one of your long lost friends and soul family members because you are a collective and what you do affects all of those individuals and more just as what they do and experience affects you. And so your planet is the great unifier of humanity while at the same time supporting you and helping you to expand your consciousness, feel for those energies coming up from beneath your feet, as well as the crystalline grid, and you will stop telling people that you are from Sirius, or the Pleiades, 
or our star system and you will start acknowledging that you are an earthling right here and right now and that's what matters. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. The Fifth Dimensional Lightbringers Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been paying very close attention to the way that humanity has been responding to the light and love that has been coming to your planet's atmosphere and your energy fields. This light and love has been directed to all of you by a collective of beings. They are a fifth dimensional collective and they are representing all of the major star systems throughout the galaxy. They have come together to assist humanity in your shift in consciousness. They know that you are at the center of the shift in this galaxy. They have come together largely because all of these beings understand how important it is to support humanity. They are a new collective in the sense that they have just begun to gather on a huge mothership that is right now hiding in your skies. They can hide in plain sight because they are fifth dimensional and so is their ship. We want to give them a name now so that you all can refer to them and so that we can have an understanding of when we are referring to them. They are the fifth dimensional light bringers and they have been targeting areas where they are much more likely to be received. They have been sending their transmissions of light and love to various hotspots across the planet. And in the near future, they are going to be looking more towards the major cities around the world where they are less likely to be received, where the hustle and bustle keeps people from opening up to a large degree. But they have seen success already in the parts of the world that they have targeted. We are talking about Machu Picchu, Mount Shasta, Mount Fuji, and other areas where people go for the purposes of finding themselves and experiencing spiritual growth. They will also be targeting the areas of the world where there has been a great deal of conflict, where there have been many bombs dropped and bullets fired. From what we can see, this group of fifth dimensional light bringers is going to succeed in helping more and more individuals raise their vibration, release their fears and judgments, and they will be personally responsible for a great deal of humans having more compassion and more forgiveness and more unconditional love in their hearts. These wonderful extraterrestrial beings know that they are related to the humans of Earth. Many of them feel responsible for the Earth experiment and where you are right now. This is all being done by agreement, of course, with your higher selves. And it is the perfect timing for them to be exploring how they can help humanity more. We are very excited about this endeavor and they have our full support as well. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Three Steps to Receiving from Higher Dimensional Beings Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are keeping up our side of the agreement that we have with humanity. We are checking in with all of you on a regular basis, seeing what it is that you need and delivering to you the energies, the downloads, the upgrades, and the activations that you all request. Now we are also encouraging all of you to relax more and do less because this is a team effort. And right now your role on the team is to receive what you've already asked for and what we are consistently delivering. There are several ways we recommend all of you get into more of an open and receptive state. First of all, we recommend that you get grounded in your physical bodies. Secondly, we recommend that you relax by doing some conscious, slow, deep breathing. And thirdly, we recommend that you do something that you enjoy as you tune in on a more regular basis to what's going on inside of you, to your intuition. You will know when you are being guided and what you're being guided to. What your intuition is going to be giving you is the inspiration to do something fun, something you enjoy, and something that you can do. So if you cannot drop everything and go move to Bali, for example, then chances are you will not be getting that intuitive hit. But if you can go make yourself a cup of tea, sit outside and listen to the birds and stare at the clouds, and that's what you're getting from within, then by all means follow through. Now we mentioned going outside because we do feel that you are more likely to receive what we and others are offering to you if you are in contact with Mother Earth and feeling the positive energy coming from Mother Nature. If you have a pet that you can connect with, and you start to stroke your pet's fur or play with your pet, 
that will also put you in a more open and receptive state. We desire for you to receive our gifts and the other gifts that you have coming to you, but you don't receive because you've been a good boy or girl. You receive because you stop trying so hard to make everything happen yourself. Relax and open up to all of the energies that are coming from the higher realms. You don't have to earn anything, including the grace of Source or Yeshua or anyone else that you put on a pedestal. All you need to do is realize that you are that Source. You are that Ascended Master. And you've lived enough lifetimes there on Earth to deserve everything that you've asked for and more. We cannot force anything upon you, and neither can the Archangels or the Ascended Masters. All we can do is keep offering our services to you and hope you get into a state where your vibration is high enough so that you can receive what we've offered. Remember that the next time that you're looking at your things to do today list, make sure that at the top of that list you put relax, open up, and receive. And sometimes when that is your priority, everything else gets taken care of for you. And if you don't believe that's possible, then we suggest that you at least give in to the idea that it might be possible. Higher frequency energies to come from the ninth dimension. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are considering taking ourselves into a higher echelon of the ninth dimension because we are wanting very much to be of greater value to all of you. And our assumption is that you can handle the higher frequency energies that we would then transmit from the very border of the 10th dimension. We've noticed that humanity has a capacity to handle energies that are a particular frequency, and we are looking to stretch where you are now to where you ultimately are going and wanting to go, but could go faster. We are doing this not just for all of you, but also for ourselves and all the other beings throughout the galaxy that we are helping. We just want you to know that this is probably going to occur and we want you to brace yourselves for the higher frequency energies that you're going to feel coming to you from the ninth dimension. We have our discussions about humanity's readiness for more with ourselves and with other collectives that we connect with who are also helping you. We must coordinate our efforts to make sure that we get all of the input and all of us are on the same page. These energetic transmissions are meant to remind you that you have already been ninth dimensional. You have already been tenth dimensional. You are returning home and you are doing so step by step. It is part of our job to assess what you are ready for and we certainly do enjoy the input that we get from our friends and colleagues here in the higher realms. We also are interested in your reaction to this news. We want all of you to remember how important it is to be grounded and hydrated when you're running energy through you, especially higher frequency energies like the ones we will be sending you at some point. At some point, it is inevitable that we will be taking the next step in our evolution. We know that you all feel that you are on the border of the fifth dimension and ready to burst into it. And we agree that those of you who are awake are ready to transition. We also know that you are politely and patiently waiting for the rest of humanity to be ready to join you on that border crossing. In the coming months, we invite you to feel for the difference between the energies you have received through us and from us and the energies that will be coming. Feel what you can feel because that is the best part of the ascension process. Your ability to feel more tomorrow than you could today is an underrated experience, but it is one whose time has come. You are all ready. We can sense it. We can feel how this transmission will be received now that we have given it. And we are very excited to be working with you from our new perch in the uppermost echelon of the ninth dimension. The beautiful part about all of this is that all you have to do is sit back or lie back, relax, open yourselves up and enjoy the ride. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. We seek to put you in a trance. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have listened very carefully to your request for assistance and we also connect with many of you at night when you left your bodies and come to us on the astral plane. We know what you want and we understand what you need. 
We also connect with other beings to work out the best possible ways to deliver to you what you've been asking for when you are in a space where you can receive it. We are no different from any other force in this universe. We cannot break the laws of this universe. The laws say that if you're not a vibrational match to something, you will not receive it. So reality is our main goal to get you into a higher vibrational state of being so that you can receive what you've asked for and what has been granted by ourselves and the beings that we work in harmony with. How can we help you to get into a higher vibrational state, you might wonder. Well, certainly, we do so through these transmissions. We offer a high vibrational frequency of energy through this channel, and that energy is meant for all of you to meet it. We know that you want to meet us, and you can meet us by raising your vibration to be in harmony with that energy. We are also sending you vibrations that can be absorbed at any time, even when you're not coming through this particular channel. Now we tell you this because we want to increase your expectation of receiving what you've asked for energetically. We also tell you this because it's true, but knowing that it's true should help you to get into a higher frequency state. And again, it is really up to you to be a match to what you've been asking for. Whether you receive what you've asked for or not rests on your shoulders, and we are the ones who come up behind you and massage those shoulders to loosen them up, we seek to mesmerize you. We seek to put you in a type of trance state so that you can relax. Let go of the heaviness that you often carry around and receive what we and other like us are offering. You have many ways of doing this as well. You have your own techniques for raising your vibrations. We are one way for you to achieve that higher vibrational state. You have so many and as you gravitate towards them naturally, you, your vibration will naturally rise up. And that's when we can sneak in the energies we know you want and need. And we will continue to do so whether you continue to receive these transmissions consciously or not. That is our deal with humanity. We are here to help you elevate your consciousness. We are here to help you become spiritual masters. And you are there doing all the hard work of living in a very polarized physical environment and we appreciate you playing your part. We certainly are on Team Humanity and Team Earth, and we always will be. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. I'm going to do something a little bit different now. I'm going to give an extra minute to help integrate these messages. Staying in this relaxed state, allow the receipt of additional energies as we contemplate these channelings. Now these particular channelings highlight an important factor and that is the shift into the fifth dimension is energetic. And the thing that we need to get from this is that we are constantly receiving energies. And the only way that we can receive the higher frequency, higher density energies is by opening ourselves up to it and being in a similar vibrational state. We can get into this vibrational state through meditation, through a variety of different factors, but they emphasize that relaxing and being in the moment, not ignoring the past or the future, embracing the past and future, but staying in this present moment, you begin to receive these energies. They emphasize that they're transmitting energy through my words and through these channelings and that there are levels to these channelings. On one level, you're getting the message from the channeling. And on another level, there's energy coming through. 
This is very real because I feel it as I read these words. And understand this shift is an energetic shift. Continually remind yourself of that. We must become masters of our energy. We are conduits to this energy. As I've stated previously, we understand that the shift into the new earth is accessing new energies. As we access these new energies, we awaken powers and we start to unify with our higher self. There's so many amazing possibilities to this, but the key is for us to go through this process. The energies are readily available and they want to give us these energies, but we have to be in a position to accept them. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com and welcome to The Reality Revolution.